Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Now, this may look like a different room than I was when I ended the video, but when I uh, saved and quit, it took me back to the beginning of the dungeon and not to that other dungeon entrance, so I had to go all the way over here. Uh, not a big deal though. Uh, I just came back here to show you what are in these treasure chests. There are two of them. And I think they're both rupees. Yep. So use that if you want a lot of rupees. There's about 150 just there, so that's always a good thing to have. Uh, now we're actually going to go to the left side of the face shrine, a place we haven't been yet. Uh, left side, not much different than the right side. Oh, uh, right side, not much different than the left side, since we're going to the right side. I think I said left side before. Okay, we have these floor panels. These appear in a lot of Zelda games. Not very hard, just stand in one place, uh, and then just keep slashing your sword. That should get rid of all of them. And that'll open the door. Um, I will say that the right side is actually a little easier than the left side. Uh, just because there aren't a lot of switches this time around. Look at the map. Okay, I have to go over here, I think. Ah, oh, crap, whiz robes. I knew it. Yeah, there's still a lot of whiz robes, though, I will say that. And I suck at hitting them. Okay, that got two of them. Okay, I got rid of them. Uh, I think in that chest is actually secret medicine. And I don't know if I should really waste my life just to get it. Uh, okay, I am pretty sure that is secret medicine, so I'm going to go ahead and just skip this treasure chest, if that's okay with you guys. Although I think I have to kill that guy in order to go back into the room, so I have to wait for him to appear again. Okay, yeah, that's secret medicine. You really don't need what's in that chest. Uh, I think we have a key. Yep. Now, this is actually what got me stuck in this dungeon for a very long time. Um, I'll show you why in a second. Let me check under these pots. Okay. Yeah, I like goodies. So yeah, for the longest time, I had no idea how to get through this room. It would be nice if they actually gave you a little crack in the wall, but of course, they wouldn't do that here in a dungeon. Okay, another mini-boss. I forget what this one's called, but, uh... He throws a giant cannonball at you, you pick it up, and you throw it back at him. And he threw it in the entrance. And he got me stuck in the entrance. Oh. Come on, throw it over here. Okay, I keep throwing it too early. I'm pressing the B button, like, too many times. And if you're lucky, you can kind of throw it at him, it'll bounce back towards you and pick it up again. So you can actually take advantage of that for this fight. Not a really hard boss fight. I'm obviously having a little trouble due to the GameCube controller. Again, this game's a lot easier with a D-pad of sorts. And yes, I know the GameCube controller has a D-pad, but I'm so prone to using the control stick because it's a control stick controller. Also, if you keep going in these rooms, it's just a continuous loop of the same three rooms, so you do have to go inside these stairs. Uh, let's see, get the feather out. And that was a terrible, terrible jump. It was so terrible, I didn't even... Okay, why didn't I jump there? Okay, jump, down, jump. I hope I'm going the right way. I'm not that familiar with this part of the dungeon. Uh, these floor tiles are a little more annoying because they actually uh, form holes when they leave their spot. But, when you beat them all, you get a key! And you then you fall into a hole as well. And yes, I know there's a keyhole up there, but I want to go around this room very quickly before I go back down there. And... There we go. Ah! Get away from me, you stupid thing. Oh, goody! We have a Beemos in here. 
Uh, Beamoses, uh, they shoot a laser at you whenever you're in their range. Very annoying enemy. But not too hard to avoid, especially if, if you have a block in front of you. You can also jump over their lasers. And that's the boss door. And I don't even have the boss key yet. So I probably came here way too early. Also, you get a fairy if you, uh, two fairies if you, uh, light both of those candles. So, I may have enough time to fight the boss in this video. I was kind of doubting if I would or not have enough time. Okay, I definitely have a few treasure chests left. And I have to defeat the gels again? Oh, also, if you, uh, fall into the little, uh, fan thing, you have to go back to the beginning of the dungeon. But thankfully, that's kind of what I wanted to do. I have to do this stupid room again, though. I know I could just use the boomerang and kill these guys, but I really don't want to waste that much time. Okay, back in this room. We can actually go over here now. I think this is where you're supposed to get the nightmare key, so... This is the right way. And of course, we have the stupid chess pieces again. I hate the chess pieces. Ah. Okay, there we go. And here we have thwomps. Let's just run past them. And let's run past these. Not very hard to do. Over here we have, uh, those poles voices or whatever. I think that's what those are called. I don't... Like, I'm going by the one, um, pronunciation in, uh, what am I saying? The pronunciation in that one owl statue in the bottle grotto. They say, uh, get the trapped poles voice, and that's the enemy that was trapped, so... That's why I think the name is Pole's Voice, but it doesn't sound right at all. Okay, I'm definitely going to get the boomerang out for this. Dude. Stupid thing. Why must you exist? And maybe I won't have enough time for the boss. I'm seeing that right now. Oh, goody! I came all the way here for just more rupees. Just what I needed. Uh, I don't know if I'll need the crystal switch or not. I'll go ahead and leave it down. And of course, I have to do these stupid chess pieces again. Come on. Come on! Stupid chess pieces. I hate these things. There's no real indicator that they'll actually land on their base. What? I'll just throw both of these. You would think if you throw them at the same wall over and over again, they'd actually land where they're supposed to. But no, that's just a pipe dream. Okay, come on. I'm not going to spend the whole video doing this. Okay, there we go, finally. Which, speaking of which, I have two minutes left. Which means I'll probably have enough time to grab the boss key and then have to end the video. Down here. Oh, great, we have the snakes again. I just love when we have the snakes. I think you actually fight the snakes mini-boss the most. Uh, it's either the snakes or that giant little, uh... That are not... The <laughs> giant little. That's a... Um, the huge orc guy that's that was in the bottle grottle. Because you have to fight him in uh, Dungeon 7 and 8. Uh, yeah, I know I could do the trick I talked about. But I didn't really feel like doing it, so... <laughs> in here we have... Okay, this is where the boss key is, but I think I need a key first. Yep. Oh crap, I have one minute left. Okay, I probably should have enough time to get the key. 
Or maybe not. Where is the key? Don't tell me. I have to go back and find the key somewhere. Okay, it says there's a... Okay, not in here. Okay, but I can't get the key here. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Oh, come on. Okay, I got the small key. But unfortunately, I have to end the video here. And I have to get all the way back up there. So, I'm going to start the next video by that doorway over there. So, uh, this is Slim Kirby. See you guys next time for more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Where I have to do a lot of backtracking.